the spirit within you, the spirit that's living you, as life is living you, you're coming to see how that feels. Mm -hmm. It's the same spirit in everyone else. The same life living everyone else. Mm -hmm. And you're coming to see what it is to live that way. The people that aren't able to see that, that are still absorbed in their thinking, have the same spirit giving them life. It's just that there's some kind of a curtain mm -hmm. between them and their true nature. Mm -hmm. It's preventing them from receiving mm -hmm. the blessings that life has for everyone. You only receive those blessings when you're living through spirit. Mm -hmm. So the more, the more familiar you become with the spirit that's within you, that's living you, the more you'll know the spirit that's in everyone else. The more that you'll be able to, to see and feel that spiritual nature mm -hmm. that doesn't suffer, yeah. that's permanent. Mm -hmm. You're coming to see that. And it really provides a lot of peace. Immensely. So, how is your how is your work your looking for work activity going? I haven't really pursued that. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it was an excuse, well, you know, because of you know, the family matters and you know there is some fear involved mm -hmm. that goes far back. So who has that fear? Of course the thinker you know, it thinks it has fear, or there is fear, there is not really any fear. And um, my neighbor tenant, she had recently had a really great talk and she said, next week I go with you to this um, particular spa and, you know, we do it together. Okay. <laughs> we just do it. Okay. <laughs> and, um, yeah, you know, of course the brain has all those mm, stories already yes. spun up. Yes. And then I find excuses not to do something. Who does? The brain, you know, like, well, it could get into the way of you starting for the exam, and maybe you have to go to Switzerland if you take. Uh, work now, mm -hmm. but you know what? I haven't even been there and checked out the spa, and they haven't even hired me. But it already jumps to all those conclusions. Interesting. Yes, it is. And, it, it uh, thinks it's getting the job. Mm -hmm. Or it no thinks it knows already about the future, everything about the future, uh -huh. and it never ever um, can know the future. And there's numerous, um, numerous incidents where that, I mean, never ever did it know that what happened in the future, even if what happened in an hour. Like last night, um, I have a pattern of not wanting... Who does? Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the brain has a pattern of being afraid having people over. So it gets nasty, it says, I don't want to have the people over and entertain them mm -hmm. because they could hate me, they could uh, be critical, you know, as I've always. Yeah. And then um, I buy into that and I get, I buy into the fear and uh, buy into being angry and all that, all those emotions. Yeah. And then the people show up and it turned out a wonderful evening. Isn't that interesting? It is very interesting. 
and it didn't take away from me getting the studying them like, because that was another story. Well, you're gonna, you're gonna miss so much time. Yeah. So it so has happened so many times. Well, this is how the brain stays in control. Mm -hmm. It's really only talking to itself, okay? If it, if it can think that it has a certain idea about the future, mm -hmm. how things may be, and it can scare itself, mm -hmm. or occupy itself, or just make a subject out of something, mm -hmm. okay? Then it focuses. It makes the subject, then it focuses on the subject, and then the subject gets bigger, and there's more that comes into it, maybe anxiety, maybe fear, maybe depression. So it, it starts building up this big subject, started with just a little thought, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden there's this giant hurricane of a subject mm -hmm. that's absorbing everything around it, mm -hmm. including Helen. Mm -hmm. It's almost like it's uh, collecting all the patterns to mm -hmm. create this <laughs> monster. Yes, and as detrimental as that is to it, maybe it's going to end up in a horrible depression or horrible anxiety mm -hmm. or panic or as detrimental as that is, as it thinks it is to it, it's just another way that it has found to stay in control of your life. It's a way of making it important, of making it take all of its energy. And if you don't see it, then you just get absorbed into it, disappear into it. Mm -hmm. And it's found another way to stay in control, even if it's misery, mm -hmm. and you're not there. Mm -hmm. right. It's just one of the many ways that it's found to stay in control of your life. And it doesn't realize what it's doing. Mm -hmm. It, it only knows to run these patterns the way that they run. That's all it knows. Mm -hmm. It doesn't know any different. It's yeah. like a computer program. Well, it's like a computer, <laughs> yes, it's like a, uh, maybe like a virus or something yeah. that's, that is eating up a, a whole lot of data mm -hmm. and the computer operator doesn't realize it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a good analogy. Yes. Yeah, like that. Yes. Yeah. And this is the way most people live their lives. And you're coming out of all that. Yeah. It takes what it takes to see mm -hmm. what you need to see, mm -hmm. so that so that you can pull out of that. Mm -hmm. And I think I started this process because I was so desperate. I, I, I mean, I was in so much, I mean, there was so much pain. Mm -hmm. And so deep, deep, deep depression. I mean, the deepest of the deep. To the point where, um, you know, the brain sought to kill itself or actually, you know, tried to kill myself several times so unbearable. Well, this is the, the great misunderstanding when, when someone commits suicide, mm -hmm. what they don't realize is that it's not even them that's doing it. Mm -hmm. It's their thinking that's doing mm -hmm. it. Their thinking has gotten itself into such a, a deep pit of misery that it, it sees no way out for itself other than ending it all. Mm -hmm. and, uh, 
the one that's ending it is not even the person. Mm -hmm.